Go back to lesson 3 to download the sample project. Extract the file. You can delete other files, keeping only the Visual Studio file. Here I have programmed the TIA portal consisting of two pressure and temperature tags in block DB1. Return to the Visual Studio project and add two pressure and temperature tags. Back to the lesson to start programming. Delete the text boxes from the previous lesson, leaving only two text boxes to display pressure and temperature. Rename the labels. Drag and drop the chart onto the Windows form. To have a trend, you need to add the trend library first. You can download the library and instructional video in section 1 of this lesson. Select the line plot format for the trend. You can change the title for the trend in the title section. I will add two trend lines including pressure and temperature in the chart series section. You need to delete the default line first. Format the series as a line. Now, the pressure trend has appeared. Now, we have two trend lines, pressure and temperature. Here is the code for the text boxes from the previous lesson. I will delete it and only keep the pressure and temperature text boxes.
run time and check. You can see the tag values from PLC displayed in the text boxes. Start programming to display tags for the trend. Use this code to set default parameters for the trend. The maximum value for the y-axis and grid space for the y-axis. Here I set the maximum value for the y-axis to 300 grid space to 10. To fix this error, let's follow the software recommendation. Copy this function and place it in the form load. The input value of the function is the trend ID. Add code for the trend. Create a function to display trend values. Set the time for the x-axis as real time. You can change the range of the x-axis here. I will change it to 2 minutes. Here you can change the color for the text of the x-axis. Add trend line for pressure tag. This is the tag read from PLC in the tag list class. The series name must match the series name created in the previous step. I will copy the pressure tag and create a line for the temperature tag. Change the variable name to temperature tag. This is the temperature tag read from PLC. The series name must match the series name created in the previous step. Run time and check the result. Now, the trend doesn't display tag values because I haven't called the trend function in the tag value scan timer. Copy the trend function and paste it into the tag value scan timer. Now the trend displays tag values read from PLC. I will check simultaneously between the PLC and c -sharp programs.
When I zoom the wind form, the trend doesn't change according to the form size. You can enable the function to automatically change the trend size according to the form here. Now, the trend size changes automatically according to the form size.